Oh, very much. Senate Bill 165 by Senator Orr. Senator Orr. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Chairman. Uh, this is one I'm sure a lot of you all have received phone calls on. And um, I, very briefly, what the bill tries to do, there are a lot of exceptions on page 13 through 19 that uh, are still in the law. Uh, establish a, a response time so the government can be more transparent and, and actually more quickly respond to requests for documents, uh, reasonable charges and for those documents, uh, an, an appellate process going through the Department of Examiners, and then a penalty uh, for failing to provide uh, the documents within the, the requested time in the timelines. Uh, I know there's been a lot of conversation about this bill from all sorts of uh, governments, be they county, be they city, be they municipal, et cetera. Um, what I'd like to do, Mr. Chairman, with your permission, is briefly have Mr. English from the Press Association, who is the originator of the legislation, and just um, briefly address the committee. And then uh, I have no qualms. If, if people have amendments that we hold the bill and uh, work on amendments, if you've got any amendments, please bring them forward. That's one reason I asked the chairman to put it on the agenda. To, to get people with amendments, don't hide in the shadows. We want to work with you, but get those amendments or those changes or edits that you would like to have uh, to me, and then we'll make, you know, we'll certainly try to incorporate the reasonable. Well, well thank you, Mr. Senator. So what I'm hearing you say is you'd like for Mr. English to speak for a Correct. minute, a minute and a half or two minutes, and then you would like to carry the bill over Correct. with the understanding that if anybody member has an issue with it or if any organization does, that they come to see so, you. Right. For those, bring wherever you. the camera is uh, for this uh, judiciary meeting um, that are watching to contact my office or contact Mr. English directly and let's get him on the table and let's um, let's let's pursue the dialogue to uh, make this legislation even better. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Mr. English, if you come forward and speak for you know, a minute, minute and a half, two minutes at the most. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee. Um, I'd like to first thank Senator Orr for, for taking the baton, so to speak. Um, and we realize there's a lot of work to do on this. Uh, one, one positive thing is that, that we are starting to get some dialogue from the other groups. And it would be a whole lot easier to tell you who is for the bill as it exists than who's against the bill as it exists. Um, and we get that. And so um, I would just kind of echo what he said about if any group that has a, has a uh, specific, if they have an objection, let's try to get specific with them instead of telling us what, you know, the, they just don't like the bill. Um, so that's, that's a real problem. Basically what the problem with this bill, the problem with the statute as it currently stands is that it's very vague. And so what we are attempting to do is to clarify um, those things that, that Senator Orr mentioned. You know, what's, because there's a lot of reasonable uh, terminology in the current statute. So what's reasonable? What's a reasonable turnaround time? Um, and so this would not only help the people who are requesting the records, but also kind of set some parameters on people who the custodians of the records and let them know, okay, this is when I've got to act on this. Senator Orr. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Chairman, and thank you, Mr. English. You know, it, to, to wind up, um, you know, we all, I don't think, would agree our government needs to be transparent, and we need to have some time limitations, and they need, we need to uh, – these are not – I'm going to pick on DHR's documents uh, unless they're privileged by some sort or there are, is, are some confidentiality bounds, uh, boundaries on the, on the information. We have got to uh, allow the public reasonable access uh, to them in a reasonable time, and it's that simple. Uh, they're not an agency's. Uh, they're the people's documents. So uh, that's the reason I think this is important legislation. Sure. This time I'd move to carry over SB 165. Well, before we make that motion, if you don't mind, I, I do believe Senator Singleton wanted to make a comment. That, that's fine. I'll, I'll deal okay, with Okay. Thank you very much. No problem. Um, move, I move to carry over by Senator Orr. I'll second that. Any, any opposition to carrying the bill over? No opposition. Bill's carried over. Thank you, Senator Orr. And I look forward to you working with the Press Association and others involved and the members on any particular amendments you may have before we bring this bill back. Thank you.